Hey guys, it's Danny. Today it is time for the giveaway. But not only that, we will make an update, a final update actually on some orchids that I decided to just give away in today's giveaway. Orchids that you guys might already know, I featured them on my channel, but I've decided that they don't bring me all that much joy, they're not what I expected and they deserve a new home. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you how to enter the giveaway. We have something for international... Excuse me. <laughs> That was Joey. So we have something for international as well, not only European Union, but the orchid collection will go to somebody in the European Union. I cannot send orchids overseas because there is a very high chance that they will be destroyed at the border. It really depends on the country, but I did prepare something for international as well. So without further ado, let's get to the updates and to the orchids that I've decided to give away. First off, you might not recognize this little fella. This is the Phalaenopsis cakey that we saved about two years ago. I'll link it down below to my initial video. A friend of ours had some more kids which didn't look so well. And if you see the video, you'll understand what I mean. Luckily though, one of the orchids had a cakey on its flower spike and we decided to save it. And lo and behold, this is him today. Now I actually know the color of the flower. This is the flower spike that I just cut. It is white, the bud is a little yellow yellow because it's going away. Why I decided to remove the flower spike is because thrips have gotten to the buds. I do have some issues on some phalaenopsis, the big phalaenopsis, not the mini ones, because the big ones were actually closer to the African violets, so they shared pests. But the orchid herself is clean. Mind you though, with all orchids that you receive from me or anybody on the internet, any nursery, whatever, it's a good idea to quarantine them and to keep them under observation. And particularly if you receive plants from another grower, which you know doesn't use insecticides and things of the sort, it's a very good idea to just quarantine them at least a month. This one does not have thrips. Thrips did not attack the actual foliage or anything of the sorts, but you never know. So because it is a white phalaenopsis and I have five of them I think I decided to let it go it is a healthy orchid which desperately needs repotting it has outgrown its pot it is really leaning forward now but other than that it appears to be very very healthy I'm just happy that I managed to save this little guy because the mother plant was absolutely unsavable and as a side note this is what happens when you don't listen to the rule of do not put water in the crowns and in the leaves Okay, so let's move on to the next orchid. Next orchid I'm parting ways with and you'll have to excuse the noise in the background. There's a car who apparently sweeps the street, but all it does is just swirl the dust in the air. Anyway, so the next one is the Aranthus grandiflora. This is an orchid that actually bloomed and I had great, great expectations because many growers find the smell of this orchid really beautiful and I purchased it for the fragrance because I'm a fragrance freak. And well, it really wasn't what I expected to me. It didn't smell pleasant at all. It smelled like soggy bread, something of the sorts. So there is a very high chance that there's something with my nose that I don't actually detect the true fragrance. I'm not sure what the case is, but because I purchased this one for the fragrance mainly, although the flower is pretty as well, I think it will have a better home with one of you guys. This is a species, it is really, really easy to care for, and it does great in a home. You can see that in my care it produced a ton of roots. It has been repotted last year, so if you receive it, you can actually keep it in the same medium for another year, I would say it's still okay. But if you decide you want to repot it, you can definitely repot it. So I'll link it down below to a video in which you can see the circuit and bloom. The bloom is wild. It's really, really pretty. It's just not enough for me. I really, really, really wanted the fragrance as well. And I'm not sure if it's this particular one or the fact that I just cannot detect that sweet scent that people are talking about. When you receive it and when it blooms for you, you'll have to let me know. Next up, this is the Vando Pirea Little One. It is a Sideria Japonica hybrid, and I'm not actually giving this one up necessarily. If you remember, I had two of them in the same pot, and really there's no point in me keeping both of them. So I kept one for myself and one I am giving away. The flowers on this orchid look so, so beautiful, but best of all, it has a beautiful, beautiful scent, even better than the original Sideria Japonica, which could be a little lemony, a little citrusy, this one is a little bit sweeter. 
Now I'm very curious to see how the Vandopsis Parishi smells. Whenever I will have the chance, I will buy that one. This is an orchid which is very easy to grow, very similarly to Phalaenopsis. It has not disappointed me. I love it. But I want to share the joy, you know, so I do have one myself, but this one will go to one of you guys. I suggest you check out the video on this one because it's one of those orchids which are just so easy to grow and for what you get when it blooms, I think it's absolutely worth it. Next orchid I'm parting ways with is this unnamed or mislabeled Phalaenopsis orchid, which is actually really pretty and healthy. It's just not my thing. I'm not a fan of this greenish yellow, the harlequin on the green yellow. Anyway, you get the point. Somebody would be much, much happier to have this orchid than I am. It has two flower spikes right now, lots of buds. I'll do my best to properly pack it so you don't lose the buds. But yeah, I purchased this one last year or two years ago or so. It was supposed to be a different one, a completely yellow hybrid, but it was mislabeled. And this one, oh, I don't have the tag anymore. It was wrong anyway. It's coming from Orchid Garden. Apparently, I'm not the only one who received this one instead of what it was supposed to be. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not my thing. Look at that, very healthy orchid. She has been repotted last year, so this medium, if you want, you can change it. It should be good for another year or so. I don't think it's breaking down just yet, but it's up to you. Next orchid is the Doritas Pulcherima variety Alba. Now this is the one that has oops, white flowers with some yellow accents on the lip. My wish list orchid was the one that was Peloric, but I cannot find that one for the life of me. So I purchased this one, but it's not actually doing all that great for me. It might be something with my culture or my environment, I don't really know. It is growing roots, as you can see, it looks okay, but the flowers just don't last on this orchid for me. I removed the flower spike already because the flowers or actually the buzz dropped. So it might be something in my culture or something in my environment. And being that it wasn't really the one that I wanted, again, I think it might actually perform better for somebody else in a different environment. So here it is, again, repotted last year. Most of my orchids are actually recently repotted. I will send you some that are recently purchased. Those ones you should repot. These ones you can wait around because the medium is actually pretty good. Next up, we have a Cattleya. I have this one for a lot, a lot of time. And it's been through a lot. It is recovering at the moment, but I actually have another one. So this one is a double for me. I'm gonna give this one away. I'll link you down below to see how beautiful she is. I didn't tell you the name. It's the Dragon Panda, oh my goodness. Red Panda Dragon Cat. It is a green cat layout with some splashes of magenta colors. It's really beautiful. It will just take a little bit to recover because I put it through a lot. So this will be a bit of a project planned, but she is on the way to recovery. And when it's gonna be healthy, it's gonna bloom really beautifully. Next up, an Oncidium Sherry Baby. One of them. I have several Oncidium Sherry Babies. I love them, but you know what? It, it's enough. I can share the joy. This one, I think it's the one from Canada, but I do have at least two or three more identical to this one. It is a very healthy orchid, recently repotted, but already establishing very, very well. If you don't know about the Sherry Baby, well, I think it's one of the most popular orchids on the market because it smells like chocolate. Oh yeah, I'm not even joking, one-to-one, -to, -one, to me at least, milk chocolate. To other people, a little bit vanilla chocolatey. Anyway, you will love the fragrance of this orchid. So I'll link it down below to a presentation video so you can see the flowers. Flowers are eh, they're okay. They're just not super spectacular, but nobody cares about the flowers. Everybody cares about the fragrance, which is amazing. So if the winner of this giveaway doesn't have this orchid, I think you're gonna be really happy with this one. Next up, a Dendrobium, which has quite the history. This is Dendrobium burana Sunday. I received from one of my friends three Dendrobiums a few years ago. They were coming from Equahenera. They spent a lot on transport and they weren't looking great, but luckily I managed to save them all. This one was the healthiest one of all, actually, and it's looking very, very well. The problem is it is peloric. It recently bloomed and it has that peloria that I'm not a huge fan of in the sense that the petals look exactly like the lip. And I know that I said that I will keep it another year or something of the sorts to see maybe the peloria goes away, 
but it is my experience that if all of the flowers are pyloric it's not gonna go away if one or two are wonky chances are it will correct itself but if all of them look like that it's here to stay and i know some of you really liked this dendrobium it's not for me really i want somebody to be happy with it because it deserves it this orchid has been through a lot and look how healthy it is now so this one i think you should repot because i used a lot of leka and i'm not entirely sure what type of bark i used here it's one of the early repottings that i did so with this one maybe you would like to repot it into something else but other than that, it really is very healthy and on its way to recovery, you shouldn't have any issues with this one. Another Cattleya that I'm parting ways with is the Ronnie Vaughn. It is a pink Cattleya and I have so, so many pink cats, but I want to give this one away because it smells incredible. Why would I give it away if it smells incredible? Because I have other Cattleyas which smell very, very similar to this one with other colors. So might as well give something that smells this great, right? So Ronnie Vaughn is a Calia that I received from one of you lovely people. It is wonderful, very, very easy grower, recently repotted. What happened to my words there? I mumbled a little bit, didn't I? <laughs> the main attraction with this orchid is the fragrance, which I'm telling you is out of this world. So that's why I want to give it away. I want somebody to be happy with it. I have so many pink Calias, but I'm gonna see if I'm gonna end up giving away more of them, we'll see. But yeah, pink Cattleyas are very, very common when they appear here in flower shops. And next here we have the Cattleya Gold Digger, like I was telling you in my What's in Bloom video. I have another one of these, which is older, pretty old in my collection. It is my second ever Cattleya. I don't know if my original one has Fusarium still or not. It used to. I'm keeping mine because I don't want to give you a Fusarium infested orchid purposely. And I'm going to give you this one, which I received from one of my lovely viewers. It is just as beautiful, it will grow just as tall, and it is slightly fragrant. It smells a little bit like oranges. I think you're gonna love it. It's a really pretty orchid, and I think these are the orchids that we're gonna update on, but they're not the only orchids that I'm gonna give away. So along with the orchids we just saw, I'm also going to add these orchids. Most of them have not been repotted and you should repot them. And these are various orchids which you might already know. Some of them come from my viewer, lovely Veronica. I like to call her lovely Veronica. Like the Big Lip Mini Phalaenopsis and also the Zygopetalum. It doesn't really have any more flowers, but here it is. This is how it looks like. And it's a really beautiful Zygo. I also found in a flower shop the Dendrobium... Firefox, Firebird, Fire Duck. I don't remember the name, which is weird. I'm usually good with names. I thought, hey, it would be great to put it in the giveaway. I also found an unidentified Zygopetalum. Also, this is an Oncidium, which was at a discount. It didn't have any more blooms, but it had some spent blooms, which were red. So I think it's one of the red hybrids. Again, I thought, why not put it in the giveaway? I also found in a flower shop a um, twinkle. This is an Oncidium twinkle, which is the white variety. Couldn't help myself. I bought it to put it in the giveaway because it's really bushy and a few dendrobiums. That's about it. If I find another orchid that I missed, I will put it in the box, but at least all of these orchids you saw today are going in the giveaway. Now, what do you need to do to enter the giveaway? Simple, be subscribed to my channel here on YouTube and also leave me a comment down below saying that you want to enter the giveaway for the European Union. That's it, you don't need to give me any other details. I will contact you, I will reply to your comment a week from now, so next, Friday. In case you won, I will let you know that you won and I will give you further instructions. Most probably we're gonna talk through email. However, let me remind you that if you get a reply from me, check that it really is me. Click on my username and see if it redirects you to my channel. You should see my number of subscribers, all of my videos, exactly how my channel looks like. If it doesn't look like that, do not reply back to that comment because it's a scam. You never had scammers here on my channel, but you never know. At some point, I'm pretty sure they will reach here as well. So just to let you know, always double check that it's really me, the person who replies. Also, keep in mind, I will never, ever, ever ask for your private details, especially in public. And in case you do win, I will only require a name and an address. Could be a PO box, could be whatever, where you can receive the gift. Other than that, I don't need to know anything else from you. 
Do not give away your private details to strangers on the internet. Just be very, very safe. And since we're on the subject, I always do my giveaways announced. If you ever get a comment or reply from me that you want an iPad or something, it's not me. I always announce when I do giveaways. I never just randomly pick comments, okay? Just so you know, protect yourself against scammers. Alrighty then, now with the European Union done, let's talk international. For the international viewers, which is anything with the exception of the European Union, we have supplies. Now, I know that you see an African violet here, but this is because I just want to feature the Lechuza pots. So, we have here two prizes for two different winners, which again will be chosen randomly, just like the European Union winner. And I put together a few things from my own personal stash, actually. We have four orchid pots which are not customized just yet so you can put aeration holes or you can leave them as they are we also have four dishes here for each pot also we have here a lechuza self-watering pot which is the cube and also a lechuza which is the mini deltini these are the only two things that you'll receive that I've already used. I am actually moving some stuff from my pots, but I'll be sure to wash them properly. Be sure to give them a wash as well, just to be sure. But yeah, I can definitely part ways with them and let you guys test them out and try them out as well. Maybe you don't find these things in your territory. And also we have here some round supports, which are not used, they're brand new. These guys actually find locally. I looked on Amazon, eBay, things of the sorts. I didn't find something similar. So I don't know where you can purchase them. Many, many of you guys asked me about them. So here they are. I'm gonna send some of mine to you guys as well. And really, if I find something to add, I will add it. But at least what you see here, you will receive, minus the African violet. So to enter the international giveaway, just like with the European Union, you need to be subscribed to my channel and also leave me a comment that you would like to participate in the international giveaway. And I will just pick two random winners. It does not matter where you are in the world. Do not tell me where you are. I don't need to know. If you win, we're gonna talk privately, but do please mention that you are entering for international. And I wish I could put more, but this giveaway is actually not sponsored by anybody. And I just realized I didn't even tell you the reason for this giveaway, did I? Well, we're celebrating 200 million thousand hundred subscribers, which is so amazing. Never in a million years did I ever think we're gonna be here. It's a lot of you guys. And I'm overwhelmed sometimes with how nice you guys are to me. And I really wanna thank you. I've grown so, so much. I changed and I improved so much because of you, not only orchid wise, but like life wise as well it's an experience to be exposed to so so many people talking to you every day it's humbling it's life-changing really and sometimes it can get really overwhelming i have to tell you but it betters me it really does you guys made my life so so much better so really thank you for that i hope you enjoyed these gifts i hope i can make them more often and with that said let's end it here before we get mopey and yeah good luck to everybody please 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 check back next friday and see if i reply to your comment so many times I am just left with these prizes. Nobody sees that they won because YouTube doesn't always send notifications. So just in case, feel free to come back Friday or next Saturday, not tomorrow, next week, and just see if I replied to your comment. If you're logged into YouTube and you go to the comment section, your comment will be on top. So you can definitely see your comment and see if I replied to you. Please check back. I don't want you to miss out. And with that said, yeah, I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you all once again and good luck. And you know the drill, like, dislike this video below, subscribe to my channel for regular orchid videos, tutorials, experiments, and other orchid related stuff. My second channel is Miss Orchid Girl 2, where we're gonna do all sorts of, maybe not only plant related stuff, but I don't know, life related stuff. <laughs> Feel free to check out my Facebook and Instagram. It's always good to keep in touch there as well, because yeah, I wanna be here to stay and I don't just want to disappear from the internet. And also, if you wish to support the channel, do consider visiting the merch store, links down below. And with that said, I'll see you next time. Bye.